what's up everyone it is your girl gl beauty 7 here aka grace and i thought it was about time i ranked all my sniff fragrances and gave you an idea of what i like from sniff what sniff has to offer especially because they have a new collab coming up which i'm so excited about they have the sniff and monet mcmichaels collab coming out called roll with air so i'm so excited to try that one out but i forgot to tell you about what i have now and since that's a collab you might not be as concerned as much because collabs don't stay around forever all those sniffs collabs do last a good amount of time which i appreciate from them so without further ado let's get into this video now i have done videos on all of these sniff fragrances except for one so when we get to that one i'll tell you which one it is but they have two different sets of scent houses they have one called no sense or nonsense i believe it's called and that's the one that has all the unique scents, you know, like when they came out with the Soda Snob and the Slice Society and the Crumb Couture. So basically all those unique niche fragrances that you wouldn't necessarily be able to find in store or wouldn't necessarily wear every day, but it's more of a collectible every now and again scent is what nonsense or no sense is sold those you cannot find at Ulta. you can only find those on their website their traditional line that's just sniff you can find on the website so stuff and at Ulta stuff like coco shimmy and tart deco and even heal the way by alex ely i believe that's her name those type of scents you'll be able to find in your local Ulta store so if you wanted to try out sniff you can't go to Ulta and sniff everything except for the nonsense or no sense brand from them that brand is exclusive to their website so let's get into me ranking them so i have quite a few sniff fragrances i have seven i'll have eight once i buy the one from monet mcmichaels so i'll just start at number seven which i feel like shouldn't be a surprise because i told you all I wasn't necessarily crazy about getting this one i was gonna get it to review for you just to see if it really smells the way it smelled and i was intrigued by it but i wasn't necessarily crazy about it so this is slice society again i've made videos on all of these so i should have a thumbnail pop up here first and then i'll have the information on what actual scents are in the fragrance and all that pop up alongside of us so you'll have an idea of what the notes are of these and all that even though i'm going to describe what my personal feelings are but i want you to see the actual information regarding it but yeah so slice society so the brand was so kind and sent this one over to me which i was super excited about because i had bought soda snob but I was iffy about buying this one because they didn't have little small samples you could buy to try out. Like you had to buy the whole bottle. And I was like, I don't know. Because it's like, if it really smells like pizza like it's supposed to, then I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. But it doesn't smell as herby and as earthy as I expected it to for a pizza. But I definitely smell the pizza, um, pizza crust accord when you first smell it. And then when it starts drying down, that's when you get more of the herbal scent that's going on in this fragrance. Whereas initially you just smell pizza when it dries down and then when it really gets into the skin that's when you smell more of the herb than the tomato sauce and the accord the pizza crust accord kind of like you know slows down or dries down a bit to where it's just more herby and earthy so if you like herby and earthy scents don't mind a little bit of tomato and don't mind it smelling initially like more of the crust than like the herbs you were looking for when you first tried out then i feel like you would like this but it's at the bottom of the list for me just because if you all have been here any amount of time then you know i'm not an earthy scent type of girl i don't like fresh florals i don't like earthy scents i'm not like angelica nikovich i don't want to smell like sophisticated grass like i want to have that sweet gourmand girly candy-ish type scent to me so that's why this one didn't necessarily do it for me however it did surprise me and i was impressed that it didn't just give off immediately herbs and tomato sauce and that i did get some crust involved but once it dries down it gives more of the earthy thing like i expected it to so i kind of was just like mm. so that's why it's number seven for me but that doesn't make it bad that just means it's not necessarily like what i'm gonna initially grab for like a lot of the food ones i'm not just gonna automatically grab for obviously just because that's not my cup of tea based upon what i just described to you so number six is the one i did purchase from this collection remember i told you there was soda snob this one right here and then there was pizza um sorry slice society so this one i expected it to smell more like born to be unforgettable by um killian but this one is actually a little bit more sweeter i feel like it has a little bit more of a citrusy scent to it and a little bit more heightened caramelized scent to it than my um 
born to be unforgettable i've got killian so i like that one just a tad bit better it's not that anything is wrong with this one i feel like this one is just a little bit too sweet and citrusy for my personal opinion and i feel like that one gives a little bit more sophisticated version of soda snob so if you'd like a more sophisticated version of soda swap soda snob that isn't as sweet then i feel like you would like born by killian's born to be unforgettable sorry by killian born to be unforgettable a little bit better i know i personally do however i have mixed them together and like them better that way so i can see myself mixing this with that one just for it to be born and me to like it because i got my cousin turned on to born to be unforgettable by killian she actually ended up going out and buying like the travel size of it because she liked it so much when i let her smell it and we smelled it in store i was like yes girl it's a banger so some of these unique or niche scents actually do smell nice and this one does smell nice like i said there's one angelica nikovich talked about that she said that she liked better than the one i like which is um born to be unforgettable by killian but um she said this smells more like that one so if you want to hear more about that one that you should check out her video she had um i think it was her ranking all the stuff she had purchased in a month video and she updated on this one and why she liked it and which fragrance that originally was i just don't remember the name of the fragrance so if you're interested you should go check out that video because i never smelled the original one she smelled i've only smelled this and born to be unforgettable and that's just my personal preference so that's why this one got put lower down if it hadn't had as much sweetness and it smelled more like born to be unforgettable it would have been much higher up but the little bit of citrusy sweetness that i feel like it gives a little too much that's a little more overpowering than i would prefer is why it is number six so number five is a newer release and um this is coco shimmy this again was sent to me by sniff as well so the last two fragrances i got from sniff they sent over so they sent me coco shimmy and they sent me slice society but my whole thing with this is i'm not feeling the spf scent to it and then the surf wax in it i feel like that's what little turns me off to it because otherwise the scent is fine i love the fruitiness of it i don't even mind the spf too much it's just i don't know i feel like it's that surf wax and the spf combined that makes it just a little off for me and makes it a little less likable because i feel like if it had, had those two elements in it then i would definitely like this again a whole lot more just like with soda stop if it had a little bit less in it then i would like it a little bit more now this one you can go pick up it also if you were interested in smelling it in person instead of just reading the notes on the screen and hearing my thoughts about it i feel like you would like this if you like stuff like ellis brooklyn's miami nectar now, just keep in mind, Ellis Brooklyn's Miami Nectar is a lot sweeter than this one is. It is definitely more of a warm, sweeter mom, but I feel like this will pair nicely with that one. So, if you like more of a fruity um, scent with SBF and a little bit of um, surf wax and sandalwood, then I think this would be a perfect summer scent for you. But since it has the surf um, wax and the SBF in it, that's what knocks it down a peg for me. That's why it's at number five. But again, it's not bad. It's just. We all have preferences and that's not my personal preference. Now the next one, Tart Deco, I did pick this up at Ulta. I have only used this a couple times. I'm actually wearing this one right now. I love that this is a nice fruity cherry scent, if you will. If you like nice fruity scents, again, I feel like you would like this, especially if you like cherry. I feel like this pairs very nicely with um, Strawberry Letter from Fleur or it pairs nicely with Caracas Crush from Sol de Janeiro if you wanted to put a body mist on top as opposed to putting another perfume on top because that might be a more affordable layering way for you to layer fragrances as opposed to having to buy a whole other fragrance because keep in mind sniff fragrances are somewhat expensive I think they're in the like 45 to like 65 range so that's just something to keep in mind but again this is another one that you can go inside an Ulta store and smell because this is a part of their original line of fragrances they came out with I think they've been out since 2020 I'm told so they skyrocketed pretty quickly and one of the fragrances that's in my top three you'll see is what kind of put them on the map but i really like this i feel like this would be a nice summer fruity scent but the other three are just kind of like my usual scent profile that i prefer so that's why they're kind of higher up on the list but this one's going to be a great one for summer and i plan on using this and coco shimmy a lot during summer now with the food scented ones i don't know how often i'm going to use those but you know um, I like having them in my collection and I love the brand as a whole. Let's get into number three. So number three is what I'm told put them on the map and had a lot of people checking for the brand and trying to find out what was going on with Sniff and who was all over there and all that type of stuff. And this is Crumb Couture. So this along with um, one of the other fragrances we're going to talk about in this top three 
are what um got me started to be interested in sniff so crumb couture is it is a gorgeous scent it literally smells like what it says a it's supposed to be a buttery croissant and it smells like a buttery croissant now they say it's supposed to smell like some jam in it as well i don't smell the jam i just smell the buttery croissant and i'm fine with that i actually have no problem smelling like a buttery croissant this is one i actually do use regularly like when i go to bed at night i'll put on um crumb couture and i'm totally fine with smelling like a buttery croissant in the middle of the night on my way to bed now wearing this out every day i don't know that i would necessarily do that but i have no problem wearing it to bed every night because i think it's just a lovely scent like you put on a nice i put on the vanilla cookie um or no the sugar cookie from native the body wash and then i'll put crumb couture on and go to bed and just feel fine with my vanilla um body whip from tree hut that's like body combination I like to use at night during like the winter time but like right now I'm not necessarily using this but I have no problem wearing this that's the difference between this and the other food ones again I have no problem wearing soda snob I think the only one I would rarely if ever wear would be sliced satiety but again this is one of those that you have to pick up from their website this did not come to Ulta this collection did not come to Ulta this the um limited edition niche fragrances or niche fragrances, I don't think they're limited edition, but those are only available on their website. So that's just something to keep in mind. But I really like this one, and this is what got me intrigued on the brand, along with another one that you'll see shortly. But I was very impressed with this fragrance, and I really liked it. If you all saw my video and went to my premiere, then you know. But on to number two. So number two is um, Heal the Way with Alex Ely and Sniff. I love this fragrance. It has a lovely vanilla with like pistachio mixture to it that is just so nice and it's not overpoweringly sweet so if you didn't like um what is it um yummy pistachio gelato f from kayali because it was more of a sweeter cotton candy um pistachio i feel like you would like sniffs heal the way a whole lot better because although it has a touch of sweetness it's not like an overpowering sweetness that you know like makes you think of like child body miss like i don't know every time it makes me think of the juice bar commercial when i was in middle school because i used to wear those juice bar um body sprays it's like perfume is for your mother i feel like busting loose juice bar sounds like fun 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 like that's what the kayali one gives me and i don't necessarily have an issue with that because i feel like when you put fragrances like this on top of it it calms them down and doesn't make them as sweet or if you don't like sweetness you know i prefer a sweet fragrance so it's not an issue but i can appreciate this one as for people who don't like necessarily sweet fragrances the way I do. So I, you know, would definitely recommend Heal the Way for you if you wanted a nice pistachio creamy scent. But you didn't want the overpowering of the cotton candy and the vanilla whip and all the other stuff that goes into the Kayali one that makes it very sweet. Oh, by the way, I should have mentioned earlier, I do have a code with Sniff. I'll pop it up over here. And I've actually compared this to the pistachio gelato from, um... And Prestacio Brulee from two different brands. So I compared this one against the Kayali one. And then Lake Ramon, I believe, is the name of the brand. And I tried all those pistachio perfumes to give you all an idea of which one would be best for you. So that thumbnail should have already went up over here after I had talked about this. But I do have a code with Sniff. So if you want to pick up any of the um, niche fragrances that you can't pick up at Ulta, you can use code GLVD87 and pick up whatever you want. But I really like this for pistachio fragrance. And I reach for this one more than I reach for pistachio gelato, depending on what the circumstances are. Because when you're going out in the daytime obviously you don't want to be too sweet and overwhelming to other people around you some people are sensitive and have allergies like my girl um Dion loves makeup so I try to keep that in mind when wearing fragrances too so a lot of times when before I go to bed I put on pistachio gelato and then um if I'm going out in public and I want to have a pistachio scent I'll usually try to wear sniffing um Alex Ely's Heal the Way so that's why it's number two because this is definitely everyday go-to scent for me y'all know I live for um sweet scents and that's one that's sweet but not too sweet to affect the people around me so number one who's surprised by this everyone knows i live for a vanilla fragrance vanilla is giving i am living i always need vanilla and this is what made me try out sniff to begin with so of course vanilla vice is number one i mean i live for vanilla fragrance this along with crumb couture are the first things i ever tried from this brand i was like i need it i need it 
I need it and I've been hooked ever since. That's why I have seven fragrances and I haven't even been onto the brand alone. Whenever the Vanilla Vice and Crumb Couture video went up, that was my first video on the brand. And I already have like seven fragrances. So God knows how many I'm going to have by the end of the year. Probably like 12. Because I feel like they come out pretty consistently with fragrances. But if you wanted a good alternative to, um, what is it, Vanilla, the the seven virtues vanilla woods and i feel like this would be good for you and i think that one's a little bit more it costs a little bit more than this one now this one you can pick up at all so you don't have to go on their website and pick it up if you don't want to but if you like a nice smoky vanilla it still has a little bit of sweetness to it then i feel like you'd like vanilla bites i heard a lot of people saying they felt like this was more masculine than it was feminine they didn't feel like it should be unisex they felt like it should be men's i personally don't have that feeling about it i feel like it's fine being unisex and i feel like it is a kind of soft feminine um fragrance with just a hint of smoke so it's like if you don't like necessarily the hint of smoke then you should pick a different vanilla because this is definitely going to give you a hint of smoke in it so just keep that in mind but i don't mind it i love a vanilla moment y'all know it so it's not surprising that i would have a vanilla scent as number one is it i mean i feel like no one should be surprised but this is just one of my go-to vanilla scents like i'd like to rotate out my vanilla scents i'll put this vanilla with another vanilla or i'll put another vanilla with another vanilla but i always like to reach for this vanilla when i know i want to have a little smoke to my vanilla because sometimes i have a vanilla that's really sweet and i like the sweetness of it but i want some of the sweetness to be um chime down a little bit because like i said before some people have allergies and you know some scents might be too strong or too sweet and you have to go around other people so you tr i try to keep that in mind from time to time majority of the time i try to sometimes i'm just like but i just want to wear this but the majority of the time i try to keep that in mind so i like to put this on to kind of like tone down all the sweetness of some of the other vanillas in my connection like i like pairing this with ethics brooklyn's vanilla milk because if you all know that one gives very much bakery sweet vanilla accord type scent Whereas I feel like this one is a good alternative, good way to bring down the sweetness in that and still give a little bit of smoke but still have the vanilla sweetness that I was initially looking for. So this one is number one for me just because I love me a good vanilla moment girl. So comment down below and tell me if you're surprised by the top three because I feel like no one who truly knows me and knows my scent preferences is surprised by the top three. I feel like you shouldn't really be too surprised by this ranking at all because I've given my thoughts in all the videos of all these different fragrances that you should be seeing pop up here as we talk about it and told my opinions on it. So my opinions for the most part usually don't change when it comes to a scent once I've tried it even if I try for a little while longer. I usually have just a general opinion off the first time I use it how I feel. Now if my opinion does change on it I do let you all know and tell you about it but as a general rule it usually stays the same. So since it stays the same I feel like nobody should be surprised by everything that got picked in here because it stays the same. <laughs> but Comment down below and tell me your favorite type of scents. Do you, are you a fresh florals girl? Are you a fresh solars girl? Are you more into the warm and sweet gourmands like myself? Or do you like like a fresh fruity scent? I like fruity florals sometimes. I'm mainly a warm sweet gourmand girl but fresh solars. I found a couple that I actually like but as a general rule I feel like fresh solars are usually like really earthy which is why I don't necessarily get down with them. But those are all the things I had to talk to you about today with Sniff. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all at Diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. My membership is down below if you're interested. You get four looks, four palettes, three looks, three palettes. I do a lot of fragrance content over there and more like luxury home decor type stuff. So I hope you all have a blessed day. Be blessed, girl. Bye.